Hello, 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 welcome back. My name is Mrs. Leela Thomasone. I am a dating relationship and marriage mentor, and it is my passion in life to help women manifest the marriage of their dreams. Whether you're completely single now or dating in a relationship, married, divorced, separated, whatever the situation is, I have been there and I love helping women um, come from that status, whatever it may be, to their married bliss, like I have found with my husband, Derek, and my two beautiful girls. Um, so today, I wanted to talk about how to love being single. What does that mean? Um, does it mean you can't get want to get married? Does it mean that um, you are just absolutely you know, on top of the world, being single all of the time, and um, destined to just stay that way. So um, this was a question that was on my mind when I was single and sort of on the cusp of right before I um, met my, my husband, Derek. So um, really identifying that I did want to get married um, and then allowing myself to accept that desire was a huge, huge step for me. Um, I was going through therapy. I was, um, uh, you know, losing weight, transforming, kind of a glow up. I did a, a video on my glow up that you can find on my channel as well. Um, and... So this question would come up and people would say, well, you have to be happy being single. You, um, you shouldn't want a, a marriage, want to get married or have a relationship. That was really tricky to navigate um, for me. And so I would say the number one thing, the first step to love being single is to allow yourself to admit that you actually do want to be married, that I know it can feel kind of risky and dangerous to sort of admit that out loud even to yourself, um, just because our cultural messages might be that um, you shouldn't want that. So I want to let you know that the first step to love being single is to admit that it's okay to want to be in a relationship, that um, being happy being single doesn't mean that you've given up on finding a relationship. It just means that you um, want to accept yourself for the way you are. You want to choose happiness. You want to be grateful for what you have. And that's the first step honestly, truly, to manifesting the marriage that you desire is to choose happiness and gratitude for where you are in each moment. This is a huge, huge skill. I could go on and on. But let's just say that step one of being happy and loving being single is to allow yourself to have the desire of being in a relationship or being married. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with you if you want that, okay? So that was step one. Step two, after I was able to admit that I wanted to get married, or it might have happened around the same time. I don't know what order they happened in, but I can tell you that these four components were part of my acceptance and um, transformation to be happy with who I was, which was ultimately the first step, um, and a huge step to becoming the person that could attract my husband and could have a happy marriage. So it's, I know it seems counterintuitive and kind of ironic and maybe unfair, um, but the universe says that when you can accept yourself for who you are, then that's when you can change. And when you actually will change is when you can find gratitude and happiness in any moment, then all the world's riches are um, at your disposal, right? Then that's when you can manifest anything that you want. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this here because I need to charge my computer. Okay, I'm back and my computer is charging. <laughs> so, um, 
So second component to, um, to accepting myself to um, be happy and love being single, loving myself before I could be ready for a relationship was to allow myself and notice any little bits of happiness. And this kind of goes along with the gratitude piece, the choice to be happy. Um, so what you can do, this is a really, really helpful step, is to just notice yourself being happy. Anytime that there's even the tiniest little bit of happiness or joy, notice it, okay? So I'll tell you the first time that that happened for me, my therapist told me, you know, you need to notice, you need to know what brings you joy and do more of it. And this was kind of um, a news flash to me because I thought I needed to do all this deep digging, hard work on my childhood traumas and my past and my relationship with my parents and all this kind of stuff. And it turned out that the first step was really to um, build myself a lifeline um, for that deep work to um, and what I needed to do was just notice anything that did bring me joy so I could do more of that and that actually would start rewiring and it was a huge key to my transformation and my glow up um, was to just notice any little bits of joy because that allowed me to magnify that play on that emphasize it um, and um, and really be a happier person. So I would be happier while single, which was a huge part of manifesting my husband and my happy marriage and family life now. Okay, so that's step two. Allow and notice yourself being happy and any source of joy that you can find throughout the day. Um, like I said, this was something that um, came out in therapy for me. And at the time, I thought I had no joy in my life, that there was nothing I enjoyed doing. I didn't have any hobbies. Um, this is, you know, that's what I thought. But then, and I was really down on myself for not doing all these things that I should do, like being a great gardener, for example. And then one of the first things I noticed that I got joy from was, being in my garden um, and and actually this is like a, a quick and easy trick to um, stumble upon or discover what you might be doing that brings you joy that you hadn't even noticed before is figure out like get on the phone with someone and see what happens like um, automatically like what do you just start doing and for me it was I just walked out to the garden and I started picking weeds, which, you know, I was down on myself. I thought I hated doing that. I thought I was a bad gardener. So it was really funny and surprise, funny to me to surprise myself with an interest that I didn't even know I had. Does that make sense? So, um, yes, so find all the joy and happiness in any little moment and allow yourself to experience it as much as possible. So that's the third um, tip and component to love being single and be happy being single. Um, the third one would be to pursue your interests. Um, like I said, I thought I didn't have any hobbies at the time. And um, it turns out I kind of did. I had a few. I, I discovered that I really enjoyed cooking and gardening. Not like crazy. Like I wasn't, I'm not a master gardener or anything. <laughs> of this, any stretch of the imagination, but I was able to find enjoyment in those things when I did them. And so then I started doing more of them once I noticed I enjoyed them, and then I got better at them. Okay, so, um, so that's one way to sort of build on what you already like doing. Um, but for me, another thing was to get in shape. And like I said, I've done um, a couple videos about my glow up and my weight loss transformation, if you want to look for those. Um, and so exercising and working out really became one of my interests that I was pursuing. And I started running Spartan races as part of that, um, which, you know, <laughs> seeing where I had started out 
you would have never guessed it. I never would have guessed it. But it's just something that um, you're able to do a lot more than you expect from yourself when you allow your you, when you just kind of start with start small and build on it and um, and really respect what you do find um, enjoyable, what you do enjoy. Um, respect that, like make honor that if that makes sense. Um, and that allows you to build on that more. You really earn a lot of self-respect by, um, by taking note of and pursuing what you enjoy and what you like doing, if that makes sense. Okay, so that was number three, pursuing your interests and just going with anything that you, um, just following it and seeing where it goes, anything that you really enjoy and, um, and making more out of it. Um, and for me, that was running Spartan races and doing crazy obstacle courses and things and working out really hard, um, which I really need to get back into. <laughs> but at the time, so this is when I was single, this is part of how to love being single and how to be happy single. Um, so that's what worked for me. And um, the fourth thing I would say, which is also connected and tied in with that is to build a network of friends, really build a social life. However you can do it, however small it might seem, like it, you know, was nothing glamorous for me. It was nothing, or at least I didn't think it was. Looking back, you kind of have a better picture, a better view. Um, you know, I was doing fun things, and but when you're in the moment, you can feel kind of insecure and um, doubtful of yourself. So just do it anyway, even if it does seem small. Um, that helped me a lot to just um, accept, you know, nothing's perfect. Um, I am where I am. I'm start, I have to start somewhere and just build whatever I can from, you know, whatever is around me. So in my case, it was that I was um, getting into working out and doing these races. And so I was able to join up with a fitness group, just a small gym in my area that allowed me to um, meet people and, you know, just know people when I would go out or they might invite me, um, you know, we'd have a dinner together after, um, after, you know, our workouts, things like that, going, going to races, um, really nothing huge, but just something, just build on whatever you have access to. So those are my four um, ways, four secrets to help you love being single and help you be happy being single. And um, I hope that those are very helpful to you. And I will keep doing more of these videos if you like them. So make sure to um, hit the thumbs up and the bell and um, so you get notifications and subscribe so that I know you want me to keep doing more of these videos. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Mrs. Leela Thomasone, and my website is limitlessbylila.com. So please feel free to subscribe there for email updates, and you will get an awesome masterclass called Manifesting in the Matrix of Married Bliss. And I would love to see you around again next time. So thanks so much for joining me. Bye.